Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit four, lesson six, part two. This project has us playing the game and noticing what's different about the end screen. It also tells us that we need to look at lines 53 to 59 and discuss with a partner how the mod operator works. And then it tells us that we're gonna modify the end messages once the game has finished. And it tells us exactly what it wants here. Students in my class have struggled with the understanding of mod. I'm going to do my best to try and explain it. Let's say you wanted to do 10 mod 3. The first question that I'm going to ask is, how many times does 3 go into 10? The answer would be 3 times, correct? 3 times 3 is 9. And then I'm going to do 10 minus 9, which is going to give me a remainder of 1. And that's where students struggle with the understanding. They think that the answer or the remainder would be 0.33 repeating, but that's not the case. The remainder is one. We're going to use that mod operator within today's project. So we've scrolled all the way down to the end of the program. And where we're going to be working specifically is right here at the bottom, the second if function. Originally, when we had this program, we had the score mod 2, and we were looking to see if the answer was even or odd based upon the remainder of the score mod 2. And that's not going to be the case anymore. In our instructions, it says it takes about five lemons to make one cup of lemon juice, and that's what we're looking at. So instead of doing score mod 2, what we want to do is score mod 5. And if that equals 0, we're going to have to do some things. In fact, maybe I jumped a little bit ahead of myself. We're gonna end up making three different variables today as we work through this. So let's go to the variables. We're gonna do this one right here. We'll drag it underneath our if statement. We're gonna go ahead and create a variable. We're gonna call it num cups, and we'll use camel case here. Make sure you capitalize where you need to. And we're going to set this variable as a math problem. So we're going to go to the math section here. We're going to do division. And we're going to drag that into this side of the create a variable. And for this, what we're going to do is we're going to do our score divided by five. And that'll reveal to us how many cups we were able to make with our score. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our set text here. In the instructions, it says that we need to tell them if they have an exact number of lemons to make whole cups of lemon juice without wasting any lemons. And if they have a score that's divisible by five evenly, they will have done that. So let's go ahead and change this right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. We're going to use our math operator here. And we're actually going to use it again. So we'll click and drag that to this side. If this is true, we want it to say something similar to this. We're going to use our variable in this next space, so num cups. And for this, we're going to do cup or cups, because it could be multiple cups of lemon juice. And remember to end that with a quotation mark. And as I'm looking over this, I've noticed that I missed the space here. Without that space, our string of text would just run right into that number. So that's important. Let's go ahead and look at our else portion of this function. We're going to be creating two variables here. So let's go to our variable section. And what we'll do is we'll drag two here. The first one is going to contain the amount of lemons. The second part of this statement is we're now going to determine what to output if the score was not divisible by five evenly. And so we need to figure out how many lemons were needed to reach that next cup. And then we also need to create a variable that tells us how many cups we would have had we met that requirement. So the first one, let's go ahead and name this variable needed lemons. We got our camel case for that. Let's go ahead and go to the math portion of this. And we're going to need a subtraction. And then within this, we're going to use the modular as well. I drug it to the wrong side, so I just got to carry that over. All right. So in order to get our needed lemons, we want to do 5 minus 
R score mod five. And of course, what that would do is it would take our score and see what the remainder is once five had been taken out of that enough times. We're good here. Our next variable we're going to call next cup. We need to figure out the number of cups that we would have if we had obtained that score. We're going to use our addition operator here. We're also going to use our division operator. And then something you need to note is the order of operations here. And we're going to have to look at this a little bit further in a minute. But you want to keep in mind your order of operations because if you don't, you're not going to get the answer that you need. All right, our next cup is going to be our score variable plus needed lemons, which is the variable that we just created, divided by five. And then finally, we need to change this down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this and delete it out. And we're going to need quite a few of the addition operators here. So I'm just going to throw them in. And if we don't need a couple, we can remove it or switch to text view and just delete them. It's not a big deal. All right. So our first one here says, based upon the instructions at the top, we need to tell them how many more they would need to have an amount of limits that will make an exact number of cups. We'll type in, you need, don't forget your space, and then end your quotation mark. We're going to pull our variable needed lemons, quotation mark, space. The variable that we want here is next cup. All right, let's go ahead and play this, and then we'll see why order of operations is important for this. All right, right here we have 4.2 cups, but that's not the answer that we want. And that's because right here we need to add a parentheses. The easiest way to go about doing this is going to the show text. And we just need to set this off in parentheses. And the reason we're putting this in parentheses is because we want this calculation to be done first, not the needed lemons divided by five, then added to the score. So it's important that you do that. In the line above it, the modular is done before the subtraction. So we don't need to include those parentheses. But for this, the addition is going to be done after the division, and that's going to throw it off. So let's try this again. And notice here, this time it tells us we need four more lemon to have an exact number of lemons for two cups of lemon juice. That's exactly what we need. Before you hit finish, if you use this video to walk you through this project, I want to encourage you to go to the version history and reset the entire project to the start without the video helps. Remember, the purpose of this project is not to get this correct. The purpose of this project is that you can put to practice and have an understanding of the concepts that were introduced in this lesson. This lesson's a little bit trickier, so you might need to run through this project a couple of times. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click finish.